Welcome to The Reinvented Life with Pamela Chanel David. Do you want to step up your game? Pursue your dreams. Be the best version of yourself. The Reinvented Life is here to help. The Reinvented Life is about courage. It's about staying relevant. It takes grit. It defies gravity. It's about taking inventory of where you are today and where you want to go. Embrace change, make things possible, and reinvent your life. Call in with questions at 888-994-4995. Now, it's time to reinvent your life with Pamela Chanel. Well, awesome, and welcome everyone to The Reinvented Life. We are literally giving birth to this brand new show today. I couldn't be more excited. I am Pamela Chanel David. I'm coming to you from Sacramento, California, and I'm a person that has just reinvented my life. It's a continual process. There's continual reinvention that takes place. And I could not be more excited to bring this show to you. Please call in with questions. We want this to be interactive. We want to know at The Reinvented Life how to make your life relevant. I am so excited to kick this show off today uh, with my first guest. Uh, his name is Tim Hotchkiss. He is an intellectual property law attorney. He has a master's degree in business and a, degree, a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I am so excited to introduce you to Tim for this reason. I want to have guests on this show that give it to you real. I want to have guests on this show that represent what it is like to reinvent your life. There is no more powerful individual fun individual, real individual um, than Tim Hodgkiss. So excited to bring him on today and just have a dialogue that'll help people in what goes on to reinvent oneself. So with that, I'm excited to bring on Tim Hodgkiss, who is coming to us from Ohio. Hi, Tim. How are you? Chanel, this is incredible. I am well, and this is such a privilege to be on here with you. Oh my gosh, it's it's amazing. I can't even believe we're approaching one year of knowing each other as friends. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. it's incredible. Literally, in a couple of weeks, it'll just be one year. Yet, what we have shared in that year, and developed in that year, and grown in that year. It literally feels like a lifetime. It does. It does. It's been an amazing year journey watching you, seeing you, um, just having you in my in my energy. Um, I'm grateful. So this is this is just a culmination of so many things. Thank you for having me. Well, and thank you for being here. Uh, as we introduce this reinvented life show, I think the first thing we should really talk about in reinventing your life is to be in gratitude. And so uh, that's a perfect opening. Uh, your birthday was yesterday. My birthday's today. Uh, yeah. It is the beginning, literally, of a new year for each one of us. And, you know, what does that feel like to you? Just when you talk about being in gratitude, you've been through such a journey, which we'll be talking about. Uh, but what's that gratitude feel like for you? And how's that helped you along this way? You know, I'm just grateful for each day being a blank canvas that we really have the opportunity to paint whatever color we want. Um, for the longest time, I put my paint set away in the box and I, and I didn't really do anything with it. There's 10 years that basically were lost and not because I wanted to, but just because I felt like there is there is a blockade there that I just couldn't get past that was preventing me from painting on that canvas. Um, and now I approach each day with just um, just energy and anticipation for what new opportunities are out there for me. Just like this one, you know, this 
great things happen when you keep an open mind and an open heart. And I'm just grateful for having that attitude and openness about me now. It's awesome. It's awesome. And you know what I love about your story is that you've never settled. You know, we see all those degrees below your name. Uh, <laughs> not only are you an intellectual property attorney and you have a master's degree and you have a very scientific background, <laughs> but you never settle. And what I love about this is you kind of put it all away for a while, like you said, 10 years, and it was a little bit dormant. Um, and what I've seen is that you've not defined yourself by any one of those things. And that's what I really want our viewers and our listeners to understand is that you do not need to be defined by anything other than the decision you need to be defined by. So exactly. you make the decision on what you want to do. So for you, uh, I love this idea. Any one of what you've achieved uh, would have absolutely been the pinnacle for most. But I know you have still barely but just begun. You know, you have right. so many clients to help, so many people to help, so many entrepreneurs to help. Uh, you know, with intellectual property, it's all about creation. And that's why it feels so right with the reinvented life. Tell me a little bit about that. What goes on for you? Because I think that is very helpful for our viewers. Is when one decides to make a decision, to make a shift, to keep going forward. What goes on for you with that? Um, I just, I'm just not defined by any one thing. I've always thought this about myself, that there's so many facets to me and the degrees that I got are just one part. You know, there's lots of other interests and things that I um, like and appreciate. And I think I really appreciate challenges and I really appreciate individuality. Um, energy, sharing. When I was growing up, I always valued people that expressed their opinions, their insight, and just allowed their energy to really free flow. And that, that was the most satisfying thing for me, because I wanted that for myself, being able to share my opinions and attitudes and not fear judgment, you know, and I was defined by judgment, completely defined by judgment. And these degrees, why I love what I do, gave me the opportunity to kind of hide out a little bit and I certainly wouldn't be doing anything like this. I certainly wouldn't have befriended you. Um, I, I, I live very isolated and withdrawn and, you know, just am really blown away by what has been unlocked. Yeah. And now, and I think that unlocking is what's so important for people to understand. And, and you mentioned, as an individual. And that's what I really want to emphasize to people. Every Monday, we're going to be able to be on here and have candid, real discussions on what it's like for people to push forward in their lives, even when it's not simple. You know, sometimes I refer to it as it takes a lot of grit. It takes a lot of grit because in the reinvented life, I talk about five principles that our actions and our thoughts become habits, those habits become routines, those routines, lifestyles, and embedded in to who we are. And so it's exciting in some ways and scary and feels risky in other ways to start making those changes as an individual. And that's what I think uh, you exemplify is creating as you go along, whether it be your style, your mission, your purpose, always staying to what is true to yourself. And even in the days that you felt that you were staying isolated, you were staying true to yourself and then felt, as we've talked about before, you had a greater purpose. So I love that and for our viewers and for our listeners, I think that's so important is to remember. I talk about it in the Reinvented Life book I talk about it in the coaching and in the mentoring, uh, in the groups that we have, that we have think tanks here at The Reinvented Life. But I think the most important thing is to be yourself and to be true to yourself. So Absolutely. let's uh, let's talk about, Tim, a little bit about style because <laughs> you have such an incredible style. You love style. You're passionate about I style. Do. 
Where does that come for you? I think it comes from the fact that growing up, I always, I always enjoyed going shopping with my mom. My mom took me shopping and I developed a sense of style very early on. And it was really my only form of self-expression because I was too shy to talk to people, but I could put on clothes. Now that drew a lot of attention and it caused me to be bullied and, and that sort of thing and teased, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't not do it. I had to do it. And that was kind of the slow build of momentum in my self-expression because um, it, it was gratifying to dress a certain way or e evoke a certain image. Um, and I really feel like the way I dressed was kind of showing other people as an example, look, you can wear and do whatever you want. Um, don't be confined and limited in your thinking just because everybody else is doing and wearing the same thing. I could never follow that kind of mentality. So I always unintentionally stood out. And um, now I'm allowing my, my personality to stand out along with, you know, the way I dress. So it, it was an early, um, a, an early thing for me and um, it's yeah. just continued and grown. Yeah. And I, and I think, uh, you know, you bring up such a hard topic if you feel bullied, whether that be as mm -hmm. a young child or as, a, you know, an adolescence or, you know, frankly, even into adulthood, that's a very hard thing and a real thing. And again, this is about real topics uh, that people have had to go through. What I love about what you're saying is you didn't let that stop you. You know, you didn't no. let that stop you. Uh, you're in a notoriously uh, very conservative industry, mm -hmm. as an example, um, as an attorney, yet you don't let anything define who you are. And I think for the reinvented life, that's the journey where people can begin, is mm -hmm. to start to take an inventory, evaluate where your life is, and at that point, decide, is it still relevant or not to where you want to be? You know, you talk about those years that you kind of stayed quiet and to yourself and very introverted, um, yeah. which is diametrically opposed to how you show up today, right? <laughs> yeah. And I, mean, and I love yeah. that. I love that because it gives people an example of freedom to do that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's something that I just feel compelled to do. It's my mission to improve as a person. It's my mission to surround my people, myself by people like yourself that encourage, uplift, and um, we all ascend together. So that's been a big shift too, is surrounding myself with supportive people. And um, it's made a huge difference. Yeah, who you allow and what you allow around your life's table will determine that speed of reinvention. And uh, we talk about it all the time. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it can feel risky for people. And I really want our viewers to know that embracing change and reinventing may be part of you or all you do. For me, reinvention started with health and wellness. Uh, but it really can be anything for people right? It can be people's relationships. It can be people's jobs, what they're doing in the community. It is all about taking that inventory, finding that relevancy, and knowing where you want to go, and then deciding the steps to get there. And I'm sure it didn't all come at one time for you, right? It came step by step by step? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, painfully slow, in fact. Um, <laughs> but I would say in the last two years, the reinvention, and, and I, I know we talked about this before, sometimes reinvention isn't about changing, it's just allowing what was already there to be expressed. Yes. And, and that's what it was for me, going through those dark times where I felt isolated, no friends. Um, I knew that there was something within me that was gonna get out there somehow, I just had to find out how to unlock it. And it was very frustrating at times, but I stuck with it, you know. Uh, I persevered and, and here we are now. And I, I so appreciate the, the kind words of um, seeing me not as a, a shy kind of introverted shell of one's person, but more expressive, uh, evocative individuals. So um, thank you. 
Oh, a- absolutely. Um, so this embracing of change that you've obviously are a living, breathing example of. Oftentimes, as I uh, share in the book and share in the reinvented life work, is just something simple like changing a lens. You know, sometimes looking at this from a new perspective or understanding what the possibilities in one's life look like for them and then how they can come and express that is all that it takes. And looking at things in a new way. So can you give an example um, for the viewers and the listeners of a time in your life where you thought things were going to be a certain way, but they turned into a different direction than you thought and where that kind of led you to? Well, I think for the longest time, I would, I would put myself in situations um, like this, where I would put myself on the line, where I knew it was going to be a big challenge to, to me, like public speaking. And I would focus and try and try and try, but I would always fall flat. I would just, it, the house of cards would cave in because I was trying to be something for the audience other than just being me. So when I, when I learned just to be, just to be, and that that's good enough, then everything started to, to really make sense and unravel in a way that now it's, it's not that I'm putting on an act or a show or I'm trying to meet the expectations of others. I'm just here now present in my best version at this moment in time, and that's what you're going to get. You might not like it, and that's fine, but I'm satisfied with what I've delivered. So that for me has been, you know, the before and after of my, my yeah. mindset and the way I show up. Beautiful. It is. It's sometimes just changing that lens of how you're looking at it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're also yeah. describing another uh, way to really embrace change and make the embracing of that change a little bit simpler is if you approach your life and talk about it in the book, If you approach your life from feeling more fluid, if you think about a river and you feel the water and you can hear the sounds of the water flowing, it's not stuck, right? And then Mm -hmm. sometimes that water needs to go around the boulders or around the rocks or around the little dips in the stream or in the river. That's what I'm hearing from you. It's not being stuck, but willing to be fluid. And many, many times people want to make change, but it's not like you can just make a to-do list and it be sustainable. You know, you might get a task or done, but it starts with the thoughts about who Mm -hmm. you want to be, how you want to show up. You have a powerful message about not being a person that's defined only by intellect. You know, there's no doubt how intelligent and incredible and no coincidence in life that you are an intellectual property attorney, right? Because you are all about intellect. But what I love and what I'm seeing is you also are about all about being that entrepreneur and you're all about being that marketer and getting your message out that you don't have to fit in to a certain box. And that's what I really want to share with people is give them the possibilities, give them the hope that even if those surrounding you don't understand it, um, or in your case, uh, maybe some of the people that you've worked with before or whatever, you may approach things a little bit differently or in your social life may approach it a little differently. It's all okay. And it's that sort of invisible permission um, Mm -hmm. that you can finally give yourself. You know, we shouldn't be where we have to ask permission of ourselves to be our most authentic selves. Yeah. That's a perfect way to put it, yes. If if you think of it, you know, I describe uh, again, and, and I should mention, if anyone wants to get the book, they can go right on to thereinventedlife.com, or they can go, we're mobile here at The Reinvented Life, to 
re I'm sorry. It's reinvent.mobipop.info. Boy, did I butcher that. Reinvent.mobipop.butcher. But info. But know that you can get this book um, and it gives you a start, you know, on what it's like to shift those thoughts. And for you, I would be very curious where outside of your professional life you've shifted those thoughts. You know, we've been all watching the Instagram lives. You're in the gym, you're out there. <laughs> you know, tell the viewers about just being involved in the world today, what you're up to. I, I'm, well, you know, I, I, I tend not to lead with my intellectual property practice. I lead with, hey, I look yeah. like, I've had people approach me and say, are you a stylist? Like, I like your style. That's, I'm leading with my style and then I am, then segueing into what I do. Um, yeah. That's interesting because that gives me a unique, you know, icebreaker. That gives me a unique perspective on clients' issues and problems and needs. And I don't approach problems the same way as maybe others do because I have a different insight. I have different interests um, aside from the law and I'm very passionate about them. And, and the things that I get involved in, I get very passionate about and get very opinionated about. And as I'm starting to just open up, um, I'm allowing some of my opinions and um, to, to really kind of be shared. And I'm starting to get there. I'm not all the way there, but I am a very opinionated, opinionated person. Um, I don't know that you've really seen too much of that, um, but th that's where I'm heading. That's where I'm going is, is you know, really putting a voice um, for what I, m what my essence is. And, and that's yeah. the most satisfying thing that I've ever done, apart from the degrees, is really sharing a piece of myself with everyone and, you know, they can take it or leave it, but that feels really good to me. That really feels really good. So we'll see where, yeah. where we end up, but yeah. Well, opinions are expressions and that's what we're all about yeah. at The Reinvented Life is to really, Express yourself. Be okay with expressing yourself. Right. Try right. something new. You know, make new attempts at things because it's going to take grit, right? It's going to take effort, yeah. but it's so worth it when you can show up and you can inspire people that they can literally be anything right. they want to be. Yeah. Literally. Anything they make a decision to today, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say uh, in your own reinvention is the most important? I know we're getting to our close here, but what would you say the most important uh, thing that you've done in reinventing your own life that would be helpful for our viewers? Well, not quitting, not giving up, um, not settling. I think those are all kind of one and the same. If you have a vision for something that you want or want to be want to become, um, you got to be persistent. You can't quit. And everybody could be telling you no. You could be running into obstacles. You could be feeling all of this insecurity. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep yeah. moving forward every single day. Yeah. That's and it. don't be afraid. You place. know, you bring up a, a really important point for people about this idea of bullying. And so much of it starts mm -hmm. with just the courage to be different. And right. if you get, if you get um, sort of um, shamed for that, it can make some indelible impressions. So, but that's uh, you know I flipped that, and that's my superpower. I mean, literally, there's exactly. nothing that people can say to me that's going to really get to my feelings. Um, I just I allowed people to have that power over me, and I've taken that power back. Right. And you know, again, these are choices, right? These are choices and decisions we make for ourselves. And I've learned and now I've made different choices. And so that's why I'm showing up differently to you. And yeah. Yeah. Well, make choices, empower yourselves. It's all about what the reinvented life yeah. is about. What I love about this show and what I've been so excited about is we're going to have real people from all varied uh, parts of life talking about how they've reinvented, what they've done. It's all here in this simple book. And besides butchering the names, it is reinvent.mobipop.info. And let us know who you are. Send us your name, send us questions. Uh, 
Thank you so much uh, for being here, Tim, for being the first guest uh, on the Reinvented Life show. Uh, pleased to have you and uh, excited to see you all uh, next week. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to The Reinvented Life with Pamela Chanel David. Tune in each week so we can work and grow together to become the best version of ourselves. Keep striving, keep dreaming, keep working, and embrace change. You may contact Pamela Chanel at info at the reinvented life dot com.